This is the Rabbit Report. I'm Rabbit. I had something completely different to unbox for you tonight. I was going to unbox this sensational sherry. Uh, that's not happening. Got something else in the mail. And that's way more important. The child from The Mandalorian. It's super cute. Of course I had to review this. Uh, look at him. He's got a hard plastic head. It's kind of soft. He talks a little. Talks, I don't know, makes noises, whatever. Comes with a little frog, comes with a cup. I didn't realize until I started photographing it that this is like the floating crib pram thing. Uh, so yeah, on the side you've got an image of the puppet who was created by John Favreau and some development help with Dave Filoni who of course does Clone Wars and Rebels, is kind of one of the masterminds behind Star Wars now. Uh, the puppet was designed by Legacy Effects. Uh, the puppet costs about five million dollars, five million bucks. Um, but Legacy Effects is a effects company who was uh, founded by some of Sin Winston's protégés who did like the effects for The Abyss and Terminator 2 and bunch of other things probably some stuff that I am just forgetting uh, anyway so on the back you've got more images of the uh, toy here and you know some other poses and stuff uh, on the bottom pretty much nothing uh, I'm gonna try and uh, preserve this a little bit so I can use it for some posing but that might not happen I, I might just destroy this uh, Anyway, the voice of the child on the show is done with a combination of like human, adult, and infant voices. Uh, also, a bat-eared fox in a kinkajou, which is like a rainforest mammal. Looks like a, looks like a, what do you call it? A, like a sloth or a monk, some kind of small monkey or a raccoon. I don't know. Whatever. Google it. You've got a Google machine. You can find out. Uh, yeah, anyway, so, uh, the puppet is operated by two people, um, somebody does the eyes and the mouth, and then another operates the facial expressions, and then, of course, there's a bunch of CG and stuff like that. Um, but that's not important, let's get that out of the box! The old infant baby's shaking syndrome, oh, sorry, sorry. Alright, let's cut this open. Uh, for me, for me, the child is like kind of the most significant non-George Lucas created character in the Disney era, besides maybe Ahsoka Tano. Like, you know, people fell in love with this creature, and I think uh, obviously, you know, there's more story to be had for this character. Do you think he's a? Uh, do you think he's a clone of Yoda? He's got to be, right? I don't know, some kind of experiment by the Empire? Tell me in the comments, I want to know your theories. Oh, it's like, I don't know if there's any way for me to get this out of the box with, uh, without like completely damaging this, but uh, I'll try. I'm actually going to preserve the packaging? Well, it's out of character, I don't know. Oh, so I do also have the Child Star Wars Black Series figure that I'm going to review sometime down the line. That'll be coming very soon. You'll see that. Uh, and Sherry's going to be the next video after this one. Although, I have to say, like, my last wrestling video got, like, no views. So, eh, maybe I might scrap that. I don't know. So much tape. Why is there so much tape? Okay. Oh, I think I already broke it. Whatever. I feel like this is not gonna work. Like I feel like I'm gonna have to like rip the package in order to get him out of this thing. 
But I wanted to use it for like some figure photography. I don't know, we'll see. Also, I'm wondering, like, do you think this is the scale of the child? Like, I'm a six foot tall person. The Mandalorian has got to be at least as tall as I am. So, I don't know, it seems kind of tiny to me, but who knows. There he is, like, talking again. Uh, this is, this is not working out. Like, I might just have to, like, rip it out of the package. Come on. There you go. Okay. Oh. Ah, I missed a piece of tape. Something fell on the floor. I think it was instructions. There's, I hate this. There's all these, like, ties and junk, and I'm gonna have to, like, cut them or whatever. Uh, this fell on the floor. There's, uh, some instructions for the batteries, and, uh, what else? Oh, so it shows you that there's a pouch in the back where you, he's got his voice box so you can replace the batteries. Probably tells you what kind of batteries there are I, in case I gotta need, in case I gotta find that too. Much of, uh, warnings, the usual, whatever, blah, 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 who cares. I'm an adult plague dragon, blah, blah. <laughs> what are some of the things that you're looking forward to in the uh, upcoming season of The Mandalorian? Did you see it? Am I spoiling something for you? Sorry. It's been out for a few months. Like, if you haven't seen it now, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. At least you know, but I mean, you've got to know about the child or baby Yoda by now. Um, some of the things that I'm excited about, like Sokotano coming in on the show. Uh, what is it? Uh, they hired someone to play Bo-Katan, the actress from Battlestar Galactica, whose name is totally escaping me right now. I'm going to have to look that up uh, in a minute. Play Starbuck. Why can't I remember her name? I want to say Kareth Race, but I know that's the character's name. Come on, brain work. Katie Sackhoff. Why couldn't I remember that? Anyway, Katie, Katie Sackhoff is going to be playing uh, Bo-Katan. And Tamira Morrison is coming back as Boved, maybe? Rex, hopefully. Rather him play Rex than Boved, to be honest. So maybe I'll be able to salvage that? Ah, I don't think so. Whatever. It's probably junk at this point. Uh, let's look at the little frog here. Here you go. One a little one-eyed frog. Very cute. Like it. I wish it could kind of like fit in the child's mouth, but can't really do that. I don't know. Uh, this cup. Nice little accessory, I think. I kind of wanted this this to be a little more plushy, but I'm okay with that. It's sort of like a figure slash plush thing. This does not want to come out. I don't know, might have to like cut this out. There you go. All right. Um, it's just a, basically a bowl cup thing, but it has like it's supposed to look like liquid. You know, some I don't know, milk tea. <laughs> well, you know, maybe the child drinks boba. Who knows? Uh, I wonder if it can actually hold this. I don't know. So here he is, the child. Let me cut this tag off. It just says you can. He has several. What does it say? Squeeze. I think that's all it says. Uh, I don't know if he has any articulation. Not really. It's just kind of like a plush toy thing. But super cute. Um, little little feetsies there. They're sort of like sewn on, attached to the, the soft body there. 
Uh, yeah. So I guess that's that. That means like there's pretty much no possibility that he can hold this cup. I can only display him with the cup on top, or you know, this frog, froggy, goes in the child's mouth, right? Um, anyway, so I'm gonna have this in the photo booth. I will show you a comparison with some of their toys. Although it's a little hard to compare with some of their toys because it's not the same scale. But anyway, very cute. I'll have some photos and comparisons and that's coming up now. All right, here we are with the child in my photo booth. Uh, one thing I discovered real quickly is that he is not very stable. So there's not gonna be a 360 view, unfortunately. Um, he he kind of just wants to uh, fall over, but uh, you can see that he is able to uh, grip the frog here, so that's very cool. Uh, I wish he could kind of hold the cup, but that's not really a reality. Uh, here's the funny thing: is without the turntable, I feel like this is kind of like the Sears Portrait Studio, like I'm doing portraiture of my new child. But anyway. Um, yeah, so and I like that he's kind of got the uh, you know the force the force hand here. That's very cool. It's kind of hard to see, but he does have um, you know some brown in his eyes. On the show, I thought that his eyes are completely black, but they're not. Or maybe they are. I don't know. I like that there's like these gray hairs on the top of his head. That's really cool, and. Uh, this is what he looks like on the back. So no 360 view, but you can see what he looks like from all angles. And uh, I was able to salvage that uh, floating uh, pram a little bit, and I took some photos with it. And those will be on Instagram at the Rabbit Report. So you can definitely check that out. Uh, let me show you what. His size is compared to some other plush toys. We've got a uh, Pokemon, what is this, Charizard here. Let's see. And I've got a little, uh, well, I call him Space Squirrel, but a squirrel plush here. And then here he is with a, with Hydra Bob, of course, who's a six inch. Marvel Legends figure who does not want to stand up. Oops. And there you go. So let's see. So the child is obviously a little taller than some of my plush toys, but uh, and also taller than a six inch figure. So I think he's about seven or eight inches tall. Um, I still wonder if like if he's supposed to be like life size. I don't know but uh, Anyway, very cool toy. I Recommend it and you can definitely pick this up on big bad toy store. I Think he's $45 maybe I'm not sure but I'll put a link in the description so that you can uh, purchase one for yourself because I think it's very cute and well worth it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and tell your friends about this channel if you like this video. It really does help me out and I appreciate it. I hope that you're all staying home, staying safe, and there's nothing really changed so I hope you're still washing your hands. Remember you can follow me on all social media at The Rabbit Report and I'll catch you on the next Rabbit Report. Bye! That's the child for please subscribe. <laughs>